Hey guys, today we're going to be covering how Naf Fly from Team Liquid plays the B site of Mirage. Naf is one of the best players in the world at this position, and he's going to show you that B site Mirage is not just about jump spotting the B apps every single round. There are a lot of things you can do, so let's take a look. Let's start off with some default utility that Naf uses towards the B site. Now, it's important to switch up which Molotov and Nade you're going to use to make sure that the opponent can't just read what you're going to do with your utility. Naf tends to use three different sets of utility so let's take a look at each one and go through an example of each. The most common utility set that Naf uses is this shallow Molotov combined with a nade that lands just behind it. And this is a great set to just punish any players who like to play a little bit more aggressive in the apartments. And you can see as I load a demo into Refrag's Restrat tool, I can play against this utility set and I really get punished for going wide and trying to find some early information and damage. Now back to Naf's perspective, let's quickly break down how Naf plays against this B-pop from Heroic. Now this position to the right of this backside pillar is a signature NAF spot, and it's very, very strong. Basically, the idea of this position is that it's very difficult to blind this spot. Typically, teams are going to smoke market window and throw a deep flash over the site to help the team entry. And this deep flash does a great job at blinding anyone at van and bench, but the position from NAF actually avoids this very common flash. This basically just allows NAF to have a chance to disrupt the hit by getting an early frag onto the entry player. Now, he doesn't quite find the kill in this round but he still does a great job of buying time for his team by using his smoke and fighting a frag before regrouping with his teammates in a man advantage situation. So that's a very typical NAF round at the B site but what happens if your opponents are playing a little bit more passive or you simply just want to take some more control in B apps? Well you can use a different utility set. With this utility set NAF is going to throw a deeper molotov and then spams kitchen through this wooden panel and this is a pretty deadly combination as anyone who wants to avoid the molotov by hiding in kitchen is going to get spammed out but let's say you simply wait for the molotov or just simply stand above the counter avoiding some of the spam well naf is going to lob in this grenade just after the molotov expires ensuring that he finds some damage onto anyone trying to find some space early on now if we head over to naf's pov we can see that liquid end up in a four versus five situation early on in the round and with g2 continuing to pressure middle it makes sense for naf to start getting some information on his side of the map this is why he began against the jump spot standing to the left of this wall. And this specific jump spot that Naf is doing allows him to see a little pixel gap which gains information on both apartments and the underpass. And this is going to prompt Naf Fly to actually push this position. As a basic protocol, when the T side takes middle, you need to get information back on the extremities of the map. This could be a main, it could be palace, or it could be B apps, like in this example. Without information on the extremities of the map, you open yourself up to site splits, which are extremely strong on Mirage. So basically don't be afraid to take a calculated risk by pushing into B apps. Now, the final utility set that I will cover is when Naf uses his utility a little bit later in the round and plays a little bit more conservative. In this round against FaZe, Naf isn't going to immediately throw his molly and instead he decides to jump spot the position first. This is a good mix up as even if the T side does decide to rush your site, you can still use your Molotov in time as a reaction. And as in this case, if you don't spot anyone, you can still just throw your Molotov deep, delaying any potential execute or contact play. This round ends up being played as a pretty slow default round from FaZe, and this allows Naf to play a pretty nasty off angle on the right side of the van. To get into this position, you just want to jump up on this box and line up so the end of this wall is hidden behind the end of the balcony. This is a pretty crazy off angle that is really difficult to clear safely. You can see as I try to clear all my basic angles that I get exposed to this off angle at the van and when we move back to Naf's POV we can see just how effective this is as he finds a super easy kill on the twists. Now there are going to be times where your team might want to make a play towards the A site or in middle and this can often leave you as the solo player towards B site so Let's take a look at how Naf handles this. First off, he's just going to throw a shallow Molotov. This is the same Molotov we showed off earlier. And afterwards, Naf is just going to get stuck behind this pillar and wall bangs the bottom left of this wooden panel. This is a really cool wall bang that can catch out T's as they try to get into the kitchen. In this clip, I play against the wall bang from Naf and I take a ton of damage. Now, in this round, Liquid is basically trying to fight for middle early. And this is why Naf decides to play from short instead of the site itself. He can easily help fight middle with his team, but he's still able to keep an eye on the B site. 
Since Heroic don't really take mid early in the round though, Naf is just going to focus on apartments from the short position. The final thing I'll cover is orping at the B site. Sometimes you might want to pick up a secondary orp and the B site is a great place to use it. The orp at B site can be very powerful, especially in just getting one or two frags against an execute. And even if the T site doesn't head towards the B site, it's very easy to gather information by peeking the deep lines or simply holding down the pixel gap. So let's take a look at how Naf does it. First, he's going to Molotov deep. This is very important because you get the opposing orper off of the line where he could potentially find a pick onto you jumping onto the van. So when you jump onto the van, you're able to jump onto the balk as well and hold a deeper angle. This is where Naf is going to hold the pixel gap into underpass. After a while, he'll clear deep apps and once Astralis take the A site, the orb becomes a very powerful weapon from short. You can often lock down the cross from default to triple and holding from short with the orb also allows you to punish any lurks from the middle position. So that about covers it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and peace out.